Hello, in this video we'll learn how we can add dynamically values in a list view. First of all, we'll create a new project, name it list view tutorial, and we will select next. After that, we will select next, and we will hit empty activity and select finish. First of all, um, we will select hello world here and select delete. And after that, uh, we will drag out a plain text to get the values from user. Now we will drag out a button and rename the button as add data. We can rename the ID of the button as button underscore add data. Now we will look for list view and we'll drag it out here, um, making it a little smaller. Changing the ID of list view to list view under LV. Now we will go to our main activity and um, we will create uh, three variables for Edit text button and list view. So first, edit text et um, button bt. We can import the class using alt enter uh, list view lv. Okay. <clears throat> now we will take the variable of edit text and We will find view by ID. Uh, we will find the view of edit text here, same as for the button. And um, same as for the list view. OK, now we need to create two more variables. First is array list. Array list it's a string and we will create a variable name error list here now we'll create error adapter it's a string as well and we'll name the variable as adapter so um, we'll what we'll do is we will call the array list class inside our main activity now so <clears throat> it's a string semicolon we'll call the adapter class as well adapter is equal to new adapt array adapter now it takes three contents first is main activity dot this so uh, we'll type main activity dot this comma now it will take android dot r it should take android dot r dot layout dot simple list item one okay comma now the last one should be the array list that we have created here now we will uh set up the array list ad adapter here first Sorry, we need to create the list view adapter. LV dot set adapter adapter variable will pass the adapter variable here. So uh, the code is completed here. Okay, now we need to create a function uh, on click function. When we click the button, this function will be called automatically. Okay, so public wide on click. Um, um, let's make it on button click. Um, so, um, BT dot on uh, set on click listener, new view on click listener. So, 
we need to get the tax value of edit tax. Uh, we need to extract the tax from edit tax. So et dot get tax dot to string. Um, we will store the result in a string variable result. So um, now we will update the list array list dot add the result and after that we'll notify the adopter about the changes adopter dot notify data set changed so now running the project um, it's okay so it's a, um, And right now, hit add data. Oops. Um, so yeah, um, don't don't forget to put that method inside your main method. So uh, putting it here, semicolon, and now we'll rerun the project. So yeah, add that. So you, you can see it's adding the data here. Um, now we'll write some other names just to try. Um, iPhone, add data. So, so yeah, you can see it's adding data. So in this way, you can add as much data as you want. Um, if you like the video, please share, hit like, and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Thank you very much.